Arthur Smith got hired to be the new head coach for the Atlanta Falcons. And just a fun fact about him, I forgot who Arthur Smith's father is, but his father is actually worth a billion dollars. Who? And his Arthur, the new head coach for the Falcons. No, I know who. I'm saying who's his dad? I don't know. You have to search it up. So you can search it up on your laptop right now. But a his father, dollars? his father actually has more money than the owner of the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> So he yeah. can he can buy the Falcons. Frederick W. Smith is the what FedEx founder oh. and CEO. Wow, makes sense why he's so he goes from dollars. FedEx to being an offensive coordinator. That's interesting. Well, I, <laughs> the and the Redskins' future is controlled by Arthur Smith's father because FedEx is like the big sponsor of the of the Redskins. Damn, I was using Washington funny. football team. Apologies, the Washington oh, he's football a team. billionaire. <laughs> Now, but Che, so he's worth more, or his family's <laughs> worth more than the Falcons owner. But this is the question. This is the real question. Will Arthur Smith get the most out of this Atlanta Falcons offense? And I did a lot of research on this topic, so let me go first. He will get the most out of this Atlanta Falcons offense. And the disrespect for Matt Ryan has to stop. Matt Ryan is a really good quarterback. He's still a really good quarterback. I know he's not mobile, but... It doesn't mean he can't succeed still. He's still succeeding even without that mobility. Let me just say this. Arthur Smith, in 2018 with the Titans, with Matt LaFleur as the OC, before Smith got there, there was a 27th-ranked offense. In 2019 with Smith, they were the 10th. In 2020, they were the 4th. Derrick Henry had career years with Arthur Smith. Tannehill revived his career with Arthur Smith. And when you look at the Falcons' offense, Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley, Hayden Hurst, Russell Gage, Todd Gurley's a free agent, but I like Edo Smith. Then, on the offensive line, you have Jake Matthews and Alex Mack. I think both of them are solid. And you have young players like Chris Lindstorm and Caleb McGarry, who I think Arthur Smith can get the most out of. When you look at the Falcons personnel and the Titans personnel, let's just go by like positions groups, I think right? the Falcons have a better personnel. We know that Derrick Henry's better than anybody on a, in, the running, in the Falcons running back room. Julio Jones or A.J. Than- Brown went healthy. Julio, Julio by a Charles. mile. Calvin Ridley or Corey Davis when healthy. Calvin Ridley. Okay. I, and I think Russell Gage oh. and um, Adam Humphreys are pretty close. I really And Hayden Hurst and John O. Quick, Smith is close. Quick question. Calvin Ridley or A.J. Brown? Cal, I'd go AJ Calvin Brown. Ridley. That's, that's my point. Though. I would go Calvin A.J. Brown. I would go Calvin I would go, Ridley. I would go, that's my point, though. They have two number ones on the same. T- keep Calvin going. Ridley is a, he's, he's is a, a dog, dog, bro. Oh. I love Calvin Ridley, but I don't think he's A.J. Brown. I think A.J. Brown think is AJ Brown's Calvin Ridley. I think A.J. Brown is the next. Top five wide receiver in the league. Yeah, you could say that Calvin really was a top five receiver this year. Numbers wise, you could throw it in there. You really could. Like I'm, I'm just saying. Look, it's fine to say that you you would prefer AJ Brown. You have to, but yeah. the way that you worded it was kind of disrespectful to Calvin Ridley. You made it Calvin seem like Ridley's it was no dog. argument. No, I I'm just saying I would take AJ Brown. I'm not saying it's no argument. I I can understand you taking Calvin Ridley, but I'm personally taking AJ Brown. Well, back to my point about Matt Ryan. You don't know who what, you don't know who quarter what quarterback is who. These are two quarterbacks that had similar years. Player A and player B. <laughs> you guys are going to have to guess who they are. Player A had 26 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, threw for 4581 yards and had a 93.3 QB rating. Player B had 26 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, 3563 yards and a 95.9 QB rating. One of them is Matt Ryan, of course, and one of them is Baker Mayfield. Who's player A and who's player B? The player B is Matt Ryan. The one with the inter- more interceptions is Baker. Player A is Matt Ryan. Player oh. B is Baker. Wow. Player A, Matt Ryan, threw for 4,500 4, yards this season. <clears throat> Baker threw for 3,500 yards. They both had the same touchdowns, but Matt Ryan had three more interceptions, and Baker he threw way more. more. I thought Baker would have more. Wow, oh, damn. That just goes to show you that Matt Ryan has been disrespected. One guy and Matt Ryan, everybody's viewing as washed now. And Baker Mayfield, we're viewing him as he just had a breakout year. And he's he's one of the top quarterbacks in the league now. And you can build a future around him. Matt Ryan, especially when you see what Tom Brady's doing at an old age, what Drew Brees has been doing. Matt Ryan still has two good years left. And I think that Arthur Smith now with the Falcons can maximize those years. The last time he had an OC as good as Arthur Smith, Ryan was an MVP. You look at Ryan's last couple of seasons, he's still been playing at that type of level. 
first thing, first thing I'll say, you have to understand why Baker Mayfield's years looked at it as a breakout year. I think I know why. He's, no, he's I know, I know 10 why. Ten years younger. I, I know why, but I'm also saying that I understand. I'm also, your point, say, I'm also saying that Baker's year, yeah, he had a great year, and even the numbers show that he had a great year. But Matt Ryan's numbers show that he had a great year too. I think it was more because what Baker did the year before. And why people think, oh, yeah, this is a breakout year. So you don't think they're going to draft a quarterback this year? Or do you think they're going to draft a quarterback and sit him behind Matt Ryan for at least a season? Financially, it doesn't make sense for them to get rid of Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, is his contract is crazy. If they release him or trade him, they're not saving any money for the next two years. So there's no reason to you know, cut ties with him. That being said, if Justin Fields or Zach Wilson are there, you draft them. Because especially Justin Fields, he's a hometown kid. I think one of them is going to be there. Yeah, I think I think that they should go quarterback. Because even if the Jets go quarterback, Trevor Lawrence is obviously going one. The Falcons are at four, if I'm not mistaken. But I'd also say this: if Penny Sewell is there, I think very hard about it and get Matt Ryan some protection. Well, the Dolphins. I don't think the Dolphins are going quarterback. I think the Dolphins' quarterback next year will be Tua or Deshaun Watson. So I, I don't think they're going I quarterback. I pray to live in Jesus. Devontae but, I Smith mean, is there. I mean, oh my God, the Falcons oh, okay. can go so many directions. You can yeah. go quarterback, get your future. You can go Penny Sewell, get your offensive lineman of the future. Or you can go Devontae Smith and now have Julio Ridley and Devontae Smith. But let me ask or you another Micah question. Parsons. I like, he's a superstar. I, I also heard earlier in the off, well, earlier in their offseason, I guess, that they were shopping Julio Jones. So you think they're going to hold on to Julio Jones? It depends. I don't know. I mean, I, I haven't heard much about it, but I do remember hearing rumblings that they were shopping Julio Jones. I mean, they can. I think maybe. I don't it really think it would depends. be the worst. Decision. I think Arthur Smith could change that. It really depends. I mean, I don't. I don't see them trading Julio Jones. I don't see it, but maybe they do. They and, could get a big haul, and for him. maybe if they trade Julio, they draft Devonte Smith. <sighs> And you have Calvin and Ridley now and Devonta Smith. Dra- yep, and now and you, you got draft Calvin. Got two extra Stop first round picks. That into the but what universe. do you guys think about Arthur Smith going to the Falcons? I I think it's a very good hire. I mean, I, and I understand I'm kind of contradicting what I just said, speaking about Michael Floor and the talent in Tennessee. But no matter what, you're talking about a guy in Ryan Tannehill that, although you had kind of seen signs in Miami, you never really expected him after Adam Gase to become what he became in Tennessee. On top of the fact that he maximized Derrick Henry and his talent. He's turned A.J. Brown into a 1,000-yard receiver. Corey Davis, who struggled coming into the league, had almost, you know, I I think he was like 50 or so yards short of a 1,000-yard season. So anytime you could have an offense where you were about 300-some-odd yards in any different direction short of a 4,000-yard passer, a 2,000-yard rusher, and 2,000-yard receivers, you're doing great things. And you could see just how clever that offense was drawn up and how clever it was run. And the success that they've had the past few years have shown how good of a job he's done. You know, the proof is in the pudding. So I think it was a great hire. And I think he's coming into a a situation where he could have success. I thought the Falcons looked pretty good. Uh, I mean, they didn't, their record doesn't show it, but I thought they looked much better this past season after firing Dan Quinn I thought they looked like a different team, even though they didn't get the wins to show it. And I think they have a lot of talent on that roster. Much like I say with the Jets, putting a good head coach in there and a good staff and using their offseason correctly with a high draft pick, I think they could be a team that's on the radar next year, much improved. And then this is this is an a, uh, A-plus signing for me. I think this guy can maximize the Falcons. Same thing with Joel said, this guy can maximize the Falcons' weapons. And it's like not like an Urban Myers hire where he's coming in with young talent. This is a guy, Arthur Smith, who's coming in with veteranship. Matt Ryan is there. Julio's there. He's been in this league for a long time. Todd Gurley, if he's going to stay, he's still there. Then they got Calvin Ridley. Those two guys are 1,000-yard receivers. They're big-time receivers. They're going to make some plays. Hayden Hurst is a pretty good tight end. So you got a guy who's going to come in. He already has everything set up for him. So coming in, all he has to do is put his system in place. Matt Ryan who's a veteran, he's been in this league, he's won in this league, he's an MVP. So I think Arthur Smith is going to definitely maximize this offense, and they're going to be back to one of those good teams. I'm not going to say they're going to easily make the playoffs, but I think they're definitely going to be more competitive than what they were last year. So the Falcons started off 0-5 with Dan Quinn. They finished 4-7 with Raheem Morris. 
All of their wins were under Raheem Morris, and if they wouldn't have blown a bunch of leads, they would probably would have been a better team. But this is just going to finish off the segment right here because you said it earlier. We're probably going to get a majority Falcons fans in this segment, so I understand they there it may be a little bit slanted or or biased. But I'm asking you guys that are watching, if you're watching on YouTube, to comment this right now. Bias aside, who is better, Calvin Ridley <laughs> or AJ Brown? Calvin Ridley this season had 90 receptions, 1,374 yards, and nine touchdowns. A.J. Brown had 70 receptions, 1,075 yards, and 11 and eleven touchdowns. I don't know how many games each one played. The A.J. Brown, AJ Brown probably played less. But regardless, comment down who you think is better, A.J. Brown or Calvin Ridley. Unbiased take. I want to know what you guys think. That's going to be hard for them to do. Yeah. Unbiased take. 